Okay, this is my short video of my grape arbor. I had made one earlier using my Panasonic Lumix camera and for some reason the sound kept fading out so I decided to do another one to just to show you my grape arbor. Now I constructed this out of 4x4 four four treated uh, posts. They're 8 feet long with approximately 2.5 feet uh, dug into the ground. This is just um, dirt fill around there. There's no cement or anything like that. I could have used the quickcrete. Just pour some quickcrete down in there um, and let it set up itself from the moisture from the ground. I've done that numerous times. You don't even have to bring water out here to do anything like that. Uh, but this time I just used the uh, 8 foot 4x4 four four posts and 1x6 boards along the top. And I think those are two and a half inch wood screws that I use to fix the one by sixes to the four by fours. Now these particular types of grapes um, are the muscadine grapes. I believe, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe these are the uh, Scuppernong variety. I purchased this guy probably eight or nine years ago and I planted it. It was just a, uh, I guess a seedling or whatever they, whatever they sell them as from a uh, garden store and set it out here and for about a year or two I thought it was dead. So just as I was about to mow this little space to make room for something else my dad happened to notice that uh, these guys were actually still alive. And so we cleaned them out and tended to them a little better. I actually put a matting around there, okay, to uh, curtail the growth of weeds. And it's done a pretty good job. I have a couple pavers down here to hold it in place. And then I put uh, wood chips on top of the uh, the matting to further curtail the growth of weeds and it's done a pretty good job. Now this is not complete and I'm going to have to actually do a little something to complete this because as you see we set these up here in December, these canes. We set these canes up on in December because they had grown so long so we set these up over here and now that they're growing full out uh, they really need to be trained a little better so I'll probably if time permitting put some um, 2x4 slats this way to uh, give the cane something to grow along and I'll definitely need to support these 1x6 is a little better as you can see it wobbles a bit now once I get those 2x4s uh, across the top that should pretty much stop that from happening and basically I'm just going to use angle brackets I'm going to set them up top lengthwise like this and run them across like that and put angle brackets uh, to keep them in place and that should sure things up I'm not going to worry about it coming loose too much I will probably reinforce this with a couple more uh, screws uh, just to keep it from pulling down. And I'll take the, because usually they'll sell the 2x4s as studs or 12 foot long boards. And I'll take whatever I cut because this is 8 feet wide. Uh, so I'll probably cut it to 9 feet and have 3 feet of extra board. And I'll just use the 3 feet of extra board across here. In here screw those into the two by fours and that will reinforce that um, and of course go into the post as well and in the process I'm going to learn more about grapes and grape growing now that I've gotten to the point where uh, this thing is really starting to take off and grow it kind of did okay for a while as you can see it's kind of bushy they are both kind of bushy and really they shouldn't be bushy 
um, they should be vining and they will continue to be bushy until you actually cut some of the uh, arms and canes off that are forming the bush and just use the strongest canes the strongest and or the longest and I think for this one I'll just use these three to uh, to uh, generate my vines and I think you can see some little blossoms let me see if I can see some there and my eyesight is like totally bad okay I'm not sure if those are leaves or blossoms there that's let me see here there you go I'm not sure if those are leaves or blossoms I really can't see that closely but in any event um, they have put out their grapes in the past not very numerous yet um, but hopefully once I get this thing trained better and the energy can go better into either growing the vine or the fruit itself uh, things should work out a little better uh, all you grape growers or any grape growers who happen to come across this particularly if you are in the south growing um, muscadines or scuppernong grapes uh, give me any advice that you can as I said this is just something that I do kind of part-time while I'm down here I mean I'm not down here that often uh, two three times a year maybe four times a year a couple weeks a year and um, you know I want to get this started and growing and in some some shape um, so that in the event that I do actually decide to make down here my home or my retirement these things are well underway and I can uh, you know get them going and if I'm wasting my time tell me that as well um, is it easier just to if I retire start fresh and um, just go from there all right thanks for watching and uh, any advice is welcome as long as it is constructive criticism or constructive advice if you're just hating uh, I can do without your comments and so far on YouTube most of the comments have been pretty constructive and supportive and uh, a lot of people do like to share their knowledge and I definitely like to hear people share their knowledge particularly when they uh, it's, if it's something that I'm just really getting into and so, and they can tell me some of the pitfalls that I might encounter in doing things the way in which I do them alright thanks for watching and uh, comments are welcome particularly um, constructive critiques. Thanks. Bye-bye.